today we're gonna go through a core workout. We call it lunch crunch, but you can do it anytime. All you're gonna need today is a chair. So we're gonna kind of partner with the chair. So if you have a chair nearby, bring it over here for your workout. Uh, the only other thing you may want is we're gonna do some reverse crunches with a little twist. And you may want to hang on to something. So if you've got something you can throw on the chair just to anchor it, or if you can put it against something possibly, probably you want something to hold it down because you're gonna hang on to the leg of the chair, all right? So we're gonna run through, we've got five exercises. We're probably gonna run through three times. I'd say two to three times is a pretty good little workout for you. Uh, don't need to do any more than that. And we're gonna start right now. So grab your chair and let's hit these abs. We're gonna start off with a chair leg lift. So we're gonna get the chair, we're gonna get 15 to 20 of these. We're trying to target the core here, especially um, getting those lower abs engaged, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit towards the edge of the chair, put my hands back behind me a little bit, and we're gonna get 15 to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Five more guys. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. Should feel that. The next exercise we're gonna do, and I wanna warn you guys, um, I'm gonna use a chair with my top leg on the chair. I've got some knee issues from injuries with sports and stuff. Um, it is a little stressful on the joint. So if you have bad knees, you may want to just do a side plank on the floor or we're gonna do a side plank crunch where you could get on the floor and you'd use your top leg. And we've done that before in some of the classes. Today we're gonna to try something a little different. Again, use discretion when you do this. We're gonna get a little plank, we're gonna put the top leg up here, and we're gonna move the bottom leg. So something a little different. So we're here, watch that knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, guys. So you get 15, maybe up to 20 even, okay? With, with my knees, I think I'm gonna stop at 15. I can feel my core working. I'm gonna slide this guy over here, and let's go the other way. So again, we're here. Watch the knee, pull the plank up, and one, two, Six, seven, little crunch. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. Guys, you should feel that. You're really trying to target. You're really for that bottom side, facing the floor a lot with the side plank. And then you're kind of tucking with that same side of the body. So it's really targeting a lot of that bottom. You get a little crunch with the uh, upper abs, but a lot of the bottom. So now, we're gonna throw our feet up. We're gonna do a three position crunch with our feet elevated, okay? So we climb in here like so, and we've done this one in previous videos, of course. So um, you have a couple options here also. I'm gonna bring my hips up just slightly, and we're gonna go right, left, one. If you got a plate, you can add weight to this if you wanted to make it a little more challenging. Two. Oh, and you're not pulling your head. Three, let your core do all the work. Four, oh. five, six, seven, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So hopefully you felt those. 
we're going to roll over, guys. We have got, we're going to do reverse, uh, reverse crunch twist. So we're going to do reverse crunch. So you're pivoting from your hips down low instead of the um, shoulder blades, okay? Diaphragm, you're going to pivot down low. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use, I'm just going to put my backpack just on top of the chair, just to anchor it down. We talked about that in the intro. And I'll lay back and I'm just gonna hold on to the legs of the chair just for a little bit of balance. I don't wanna pull too hard, but I'm just gonna kind of anchor myself here. And then we're gonna knee tuck to the side and we're just gonna lift slightly. So you're just gonna press those hips up. One, come over. Guys, if you have a hard time with this, just come straight up, okay? Three. Gotta squeeze that core. Ten to fifteen is kind of our goal here. Just want to challenge yourself. Let's go three more. Squeeze up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Nice work. Nice work. Okay, so now, guys, we're going to use the chair again, and we're going to do a reverse back extension. If you're following these workouts, and I hope you're taking advantage of them. It's a great, it's a great thing for Spectrum to offer. Um, we are going to do reverse back extension. So we'll take this off. We did this earlier, actually in this week's batch, um, in, our, in one of our interval workouts, okay, one of our interval training workouts. So, but it was a perfect fit for today because we're doing a chair crunch workout, all right? So chair abs. So if you remember this, and if you didn't do the interval training, try it. But if you didn't do it, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to, we're gonna lay over this bench and the hips just kind of come over, just over the top of the chair, all right? And you can hold on the legs of the chair if you want to, and then we're just gonna extend up. Don't go too high. Two, three, and we'll try to get like 15 to 20. Four, five, six, seven, eight, to the floor, back up, 18, 19, 20. Okay, catch your breath for just a second. We're gonna set the chair up, one round down, round two beginning right now. We have legless, 15 to 20. Let's get in your chair, and here we go. One, two, three, Squeeze the core. 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, now option you can use just the floor or you can use the chair. I'll go with the chair again. So we're here.
You'll swing the chair around the other way. <clears throat> okay, let's get 15 on this side now. So we're up. crunch 15 each way see that core tighten every time and don't pull the head with the hands okay so right here again if you want to bring the hips up you can if the hamstrings tighten up too much just go down to the floor it's fine we're up right left one right left two When you squeeze that core, seven, right, left, eight, right, left, nine, right, left, ten, right, left, eleven, right, left, twelve, right, left, thirteen. Please, all right, 15. Okay, so now, guys, we've got those reverse crunches. Okay, reverse crunch with a little twist, all right? So we're gonna anchor again your chair. So I'll grab a weighted backpack. This could be anything, okay? Just someone with a little bit of weight, just kind of get the chair a little, little anchor. Okay, so we lay back. Guys, reverse crunch with twist 10 to 15. We're gonna lay back. All right, and all we're doing is reverse crunch. I'm just trying to twist just a little bit, all right? So we're here, and we're gonna come up. Go to bring the sips up. And one. Up. Two. Guys, up, six, up, really tighten that core. Guys, we'll do a few more here. Let's see one more, guys. Here we go. Up. And up. Set the feet down. All right. Guys, we've got reverse back extension. Boy, going fast this. I love it. Let's set this. Let's set this down over here for a second. And we'll just turn this like so. All right, we've got reverse back extensions again. So we'll be 15 to 20. Okay. And uh, guys, listen, if this is a real challenge, you can lay on the floor and do the same thing. Just lifting up. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's show it one more time. All right. Lunge, crunch, attacking that core. Here we go. 20 leg lifts. Squeeze the core of 19 and 20. Great job. Let's go low side plank. We're here. We're here. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, great job. The ribs and crunch. Come into the chair. We're going to lay back. And we are going to crunch in three directions right, left, center. And 15 times each way. One. And again, guys, if you want to bring your hips down? You can. Two. Remember, don't pull your head. There's 10, guys. Five more. Let's try to get them, all right? Here we go. Four. Up. Up. Three more. Up. Up. Okay, down to two. Boom. Boom. Oh, last one. Up. Up. And crunch. Beautiful. All right, so now we've got a reverse crunch with a little twist, all right? So let's anchor this bad boy down. Good, we're gonna lay down and we've got our reverse crunches with a twist.
again, you're going towards the opposite shoulder. Four with the knees. Good job. Six. Seven. Fourteen. Both. Okay. Now, guys. Reverse. Back extension. On the chair. So we're here. We're coming down. Hopefully, I'm in the middle of the frame. I think it was off in the last set. Apologize. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 20. Great work, guys. Excellent job. That completes our lunch crunch class for today. So all you needed today was a good workout partner, hopefully, or an okay partner partner, and, and, and your chair. That's it. Great stuff. I went through three rounds of that. Um, guys, I appreciate it. If you haven't tried the other classes, I think lunch crunch is great. You pack in the core in a short amount of time. And we're also getting, you know, with playing street, a little upper body work. We're getting a little hamstring work with the chair. So we try to incorporate little things, but really the core is the focus. But try interval training and try cross crunch. Um, the body shaping class, love that one. It kind of breaks your body up usually in half. Not always, but then we just kind of focus on really doing things to shape and firm. And who doesn't want to shape and firm the body? So guys, I really appreciate it. This is Elite Fitness, we're bringing wellness to you, and I'm working out with you like your virtual workout partner. See ya.